Radical. Welcome to part two of Radical Rapid Fire cover response for May the 16th through May the 22nd, 2022. Short comments, quick replies. Jeremy Seal. Rick, they're known as the slobs. Okay, when I refer to the Screenwave guys, uh, I wasn't aware that they were generally referred to as the slobs. Now, when I would refer to somebody as a slob, I would think primarily someone that was overweight, uh, didn't take care of themselves, and left a lot of messes. Now, I don't know if like they would qualify just because they're overweight. I think to be a slob, there's a little bit more that goes into it. Jeremy, do you have proof that these individuals, the Screenwave guys, are very messy people? Hmm? Art Bell, uh, 214 Alpha Mega Sin. This could have been a good video by itself. Uh, does he owe viewers a video or post alert why he left? Yeah, I mean, maybe a couple years ago that would have made a great upload by itself, Art. But I think I've moved so far past a lot of these general topics especially specifically on certain YouTubers to where unless there's new things that kind of happen and develop, uh, no, it's really not worthy of more than maybe seconds of my precious breath. Rusty Shackelford, sorry for the long comment. I just own each of these tiles and I thought I would share my thoughts uh, on each one, talking about some games that you have and you have each of those titles. You should never apologize, Rusty, for long comments. Correct me if I'm wrong here, didn't for a period, weeks after weeks, didn't you like own comment of the week for a little bit there? Comment of the day, you know, we can track back to comment of the day, I believe, you know. Uh, you have always been in the running for comment of the year, actually. You of all people should not apologize for long comments. That's like Steph Curry apologizing for, you know, taking a three-point shot. Albert Menendez, the people who view mobile games as worthy as Hall of Fame will be aware of a solid game, won't be aware of a solid game like Shadow of Moldar. Okay, I gotta correct you here. It's not Moldar, it's Mordor, not Moldar. You're thinking of the game that's a spin-off of Shadow of Mordor to where the main character is in a bathroom, hard at work cleaning some mold off of the toilet and the bathtub. And occasionally, there's a lot of Urix that come in there that he has to, you know, kill. And then there's a timer you know, for him to clean the mold off. That's a, that's a spinoff game. Stephen M. Congrats to the Celtics. I hope, I hope Hopefully the Bucks bounce back next season. It is kind of funny, both of last year's championship game teams got eliminated this year on the same day. You talk about coincidences, man. Yeah. Both, the, like the, the finals from last year, both of those championship level teams, they got eliminated the same day, same year. Wow. Uh, now, I will say the Bucks. I think, will bounce back. The Celtics are still going to be great next year. Miami's still going to be great. Uh, but, you know, Giannis, he didn't have uh, he didn't have one of his players. You know, and I think that made a lot of the difference. But, uh, yeah, we'll look back this year as, uh, well, I mean, this is a great series. Celtics, Bucks, great series. You know, Miami, Celtics turn out to be a great series also. They're tried right now. Penguin Wizard, Tipster did not get a plaque. Laughing my ass off, rightfully so, that guy was never good. Well, a lot of these YouTubers were never good that have plaques. Plaques just judge these channels on their subscriber numbers, I thought. But if you're telling me that YouTube itself actually looked into his uh, uploads, like, I don't know, I, I wasn't aware of this. Okay, there's a lot of crap channels out there like Jake and Logan Paul that have the plaques, but their channels really aren't that good. So, I mean... Is Susan judging these channels? Like, is there a board of people at YouTube actually judging channels that are actually good that have a lot of subscribers that deserve that? I would, you know, say the one guy. It's a theory, a game theory. Like that guy, sure, he deserves his plaque. That's a great channel. But yeah, as far as plaque, I think uh, the only plaque probably that Tipster will ever get from YouTube, well, anywhere. I mean, or I mess this up. <clears throat> The only plaque tipster should have is on his teeth. There you go. Dumez, I don't waste time on comedians offending me or YouTubers offending me, but the Supreme Court of the USA is offending me. Their offense affects everyone in a very real way. Yeah, I haven't been keeping up with it, but I thought somebody was joking when they said Roe versus Wade could be overturned. You know, the landmark decision back in, I think, 73 
saying that women have the right to, you know, abortions, right? And I get there's a whole, you know, discussion that you can be have around religion and, you know, the right to life and all this kind of stuff. I understand. I get that. But I will point to this. The one thing I was reading from, uh, I forget where I read it, but uh, there was a woman in Ireland that couldn't get an abortion. And uh, at the 12-week mark, doctor informed them that their baby, when was born, would not live because uh, the brain was forming outside of the skull. And that baby would maybe live for maybe like a day or two and then pass away. And then they made a decision to, you know, abort that baby. Just knowing that fact. There's many instances where for the health of the mother and her life, you have to have an abortion. But this crazy, wacky Supreme Court, apparently, like I said, I don't keep up with it, but that's just crazy. I thought somebody was telling me a joke when this half century law would be overturned. Yikes. Red Stress 97. Hmm. With how much you paid for all of these, I would price them at the $10 each range and see what happens. I did have my games priced at $10 each for the Xbox PS4 and then the Xbox 360 and the PS2, $5. I did, but I'm, I'm adding more games into the mix now. Some better games. I mean, I got a copy of Witcher 3 I'm adding into the mix. I'm asking, I think, 20 for that one. It has the slipcover also. Fallout New Vegas. I mean... I mean, hello, it's Fallout New Vegas. Some of the games, even though they're on a system, the console, they're sought after games. They're sought after. So, yeah, that pricing, I just, since I got the pricing gun, I can pretty much uh, put whatever prices on them that I want, you know. Also, I suggest a pricing gun if you're going to be a flea marketer. Fox Mulder, Resident Evil Remake definitely should be in that Hall of Fame of video games. This is another interesting discussion here that Fox Mulder brings up. If you got a game and it's remade and it's a lot of things are fixed with it, let's say camera angles or just generally the feel of it. I mean, well, some people look at the first Resident Evil in 96 as Resident Evil or will they look at this new one as Resident Evil? There's people right now just playing the remake going, well, this is Resident Evil. Like, no, no, that was a remake of the other one. Oh, the original, you know, so if a lot of changes are made for the better then would you actually consider a remake for the Hall of Fame? Would that replace the original, or would it be seen as too much of a difference from the original? How would you grade it? You know, is there a possibility to where you might have the same game, like Resident Evil, that goes into the Hall of Fame twice, under the same name that just happens to be a remake? 